Markdown authoring with Google Docs. So here I am in Google Docs. I have the sidebar with our add-on open. I have some demo text and I'm going to walk through some of the features of the add-on. So the markup pane over here allows me to uh, select whatever I want then go and change to, to the different uh, markdown syntax. Uh, I can make this one here bold for example. Uh, make this uh, inline code. Uh, I can click the preview tab and um, when it updates I can see how the text is gonna look like. I can send it to a new tab so I get a full view of the document. I can uh, view the final HTML using different style sheet. I'm using the GitHub now. I can just click there and uh, click another one and um, send that to the tab and this is gonna how it's going to look like then. We have special table support in uh, the add-on. So let's go and insert a table or create a table here. Insert a table will insert an empty table, but tables can also be created from Google spreadsheets, from uh, CSV files, from your hard drive. I can just paste uh, text into a um, text box here, tabulated, or I can in this case generate some demo data. Uh, click generate and click create and then the table gets inserted here as you see when you have a markdown table and you want to work with it we have a special zone for that here in the advanced tab go to tables click somewhere in the table uh, if I type here something like like this uh, I can then just quickly reformat the table with the format table option you see it aligns nicely if I want to sort the column I can just pick sort column or sort column descending and there you go I can uh, align columns let's make this one center aligned and it inserts the uh, correct markup I can move columns to the left let's see I move this point column to the to the um, to the left I can move rows up and down using emojis is really simple in the advanced section there are two tabs emojis here is the complete uh, github library of uh, emojis so you can just put the insertion mark somewhere and um, click the insert button and there it is I can of course go back to my um, preview tab and check that it's there if I go back to my advanced tab I can uh, if I have a certain emojis I want to use often I can just put them in my fab collection that is uh, easily done by going to the one I want the rage one click here to get the menu and say add to fabs and it's uh, added to your collection and uh, that we can have a look here oh there it's been added when you are ready to export your document to an .md file or to an uh, HTML file, you go to the uh, markup section to export. You can then choose either to export as HTML or export as text. If I click the export HTML, uh, it will show me the, the code here and I can choose to send to a new tab uh, up here or I can upload to Google Drive by entering a file name and uh, selecting a folder like that 
or I can just copy the text to the clipboard. This almost the same goes for the text. I can send the text to a tab, I can upload to Google Drive, or I can save to my local hard drive, or I can copy to the clipboard. The snippet feature is a quite powerful feature that allows you to reuse content. So let's go to the reuse content part of the sidebar. Uh, let's say that you want this first sentence to be used quite often. You select the text, you go to your common snippets uh, area here and you say create a snippet from the selection. Save it to the snippets folder. And there it is. If I close that dialog, we'll see I have a new snippet here. Then I can go to any new document or to, of course, this document and just click the insert button. And uh, I have inserted that snippet. So that's a uh, really easy way to reuse content. There are three kinds of snippets. You have the comma snippets, which are saved in your snippets folder, which is personal to you. Then you can share a group folder with your team where you put snippets that uh, most uh, people in your team would use and then you can um, also use the um, uh, Chrome extension from Docs 365 called Docs 365 Chrome X which uh, will uh, add a context menu item to your uh, Chrome so that you can save any text in any website to a snippet that you quickly can insert uh, into a uh, Google document. The add-on makes it really simple to embed Base64 encoded images in the document. So to do that, I go to the markup section, go to markup here and say I want to embed an image. I can enter the text here, docs365, and then I can choose a file, either from the hard drive like this, or I can select an image from my Google Drive file or I can grab from the web. So let's say I'm going to pick one from my hard drive. And there it is. The markup goes here and the definition at the end of the document.